charts scale. To calculate the scale on the chart, this is done using the following formula. 1 over d equals chart length over earth distance. 1 over d is the representative fraction. DL is chart length, normally in centimetres, but it could be in inches. 1 inch is 2.54 centimetres. ED is earth distance, normally in nautical miles, but it could be expressed in kilometres. One nautical mile is 1.852 kilometres. A larger scale has a smaller denominator. For example, a one in quarter million chart has a larger scale than a chart of one in half a million. A larger scale has more detail. Typical charts in general aviation have a scale of one in half a million. Charts, Mercator projection. The Mercator projection is a projection created by placing a model of the Earth with a light source in the centre, tracing the image projected by the light source. Paper is then developed which gives a map. It's not possible to display the north-south poles on a Mercator projection. The Lambert chart. Lambert designed the chart to touch the reduced Earth at two particular latitudes for which the scale is correct. The scale will contract between these latitudes and expand that beside them. The parallel of origin is the point between two standard parallels. This is where the scale will be most contracted. If the two standard parallels are located at 48 degrees north and 36 degrees north, the parallel of origin may be calculated by adding the two latitudes together and dividing by two. Equipment for chart plotting. The chart itself, ELO 1 or 2, scale ruler, protractor, set of compasses, dividers, pencil of 0.5mm or 0.3mm thickness, a high quality eraser, calculator and the CRP5. Fixing coordinates. The local graticule. Often coordinates do not lie exactly on parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude printed on the chart. In this case, a local scale may be constructed using a set of compasses and a ruler scale. Find the quadrangle that your coordinates are situated in. Line up the ruler against the longitude on the higher parallel of latitude with that of the lower parallel of latitude, the quadrangle, and draw a pencil line between the two. This is your local meridian of longitude. Then using a set of compasses, pick off the latitude and transfer it to your local meridian. Fixing coordinates questions. What feature is shown on the chart at position north 5351, west 00917? What feature is shown on the chart at position 5212 north, west 00612? Measuring distance. Accurate distance measurement. The scale on the side of the chart may be used, but it's not as accurate as the latitude scale in the area where you are plotting. One degree of latitude equals 60 nautical miles. Measuring distance questions. Referring to ELO 1, what's the distance between Kerry NDB and CRN NDB? And what's the distance between CON VOR and Belfast VOR? Measuring tracks. Accurate track measurement. The meridians of longitude point towards true north. Variation is shown with a dashed blue line. Course is another name for track. Mean course should be measured at the midpoint between departure and destination. Measuring tracks questions. Referring to the chart, what's the average track magnetic from BALVOR to SLG NDB? What's the average track true from CONVOR to Belfast VOR? What's the average track true? from SLG NDB to CFN NDB. Plotting radials. A radial radiates out from a navigation aid. It may also be referred to as a magnetic bearing from QDR. 
In plotting, most charts are referenced to true north, so variation is required to convert the magnetic bearing to a true bearing to plot from the beacon, a QT. When plotting with NDBs, use variation at the estimated aircraft position. When plotting with VORs, use variation at the station. VOR crosscuts. When plotting with VORs, use variation at the station. The VOR rose has an arrow pointing in the direction of magnetic north. You can use this to plot directly from magnetic north, thus avoiding the need to calculate true north using variation at the station. Radials are magnetic and radiate out from the station. VOR crosscuts questions. Thrown to the chart. Given Shannon VOR radial 129, Cork VOR radial 047, what is the aircraft position? If the aircraft position is north 5330, west 008, which two radials from Shannon and CON are applicable to the aircraft position? VOR DME fix. Draw the radial out from the VOR station. Mark off the DME distance from the VOR using your set of compasses, ideally taking a distance from the local latitude. VOR DME fix questions. Referring to the chart, given Shannon VOR DME, radial 04822 nautical miles, what is the aircraft position? What is the radial and DME distance from Shannon VOR DME? To position north 5210 west 00920. DME DME fix. A DME distance from a single DME enables an arc of that distance to be drawn. Mark off the DME distance from the VOR using your set of compasses, ideally taking the distance from the local latitude. If another DME fix is utilised, which intersects the arc from the first DME, pinpoint fix may be determined. If the arc has two points of intersection, then this results in ambiguity. This may be resolved by other means by looking to see if the DME distance have been increasing or decreasing. DME DME fix questions. Referring to the chart, CRN DME 18 nautical miles, Shannon VOR DME 30 nautical miles. Aircraft heading is 270 magnetic, with both DME distances decreasing. What is the aircraft position? Given CRN DME 34 nautical miles and Shannon VOR DME 26 nautical miles, aircraft heading 090 magnetic, both DME distances increasing. What's the aircraft position? 